Hello guys, I am Utkarsh and today I'll be discussing about how to enhance the background nebulosity in your image that you shot under some nice conditions like this image which was shot by Shikhar Gupta from Bottle One Skies. So this image was actually not treated with flats here you could see that how the STF looks here and you could see that without flat how this appears so after a proper DBE adjustment and then color calibrating this image it resulted in a really nice result in front of us so I just gave this image a simple arc sign stretch here and for those users who are stretch your image like get results similar to the arc sign stretch but you won't get something like 100 percent true you could try histogram simple histogram transformation and just try to increase the saturation a bit while making stretches so it might just act like the arc sign stretch also wanted to point about that i'm no way promoting the software so i think but with with that i'll still say that you should try to get this software somehow if you are using this as a photography and this is a wonderful software you could definitely help those guys and so that they can make it better in future so i think we need to get back to the topic regarding the highlighting our background regions in the image now a lot of guys do not tell about how exactly it is done but i could use both Pixinsight and Photoshop to I mean pull the details out in your image here so this video is all about I mean for both users who use Photoshop and Pixinsight you can get both the results using either of one of these so it's not I mean it's not that that if you are Photoshop user you can't do this or you can cannot enhance that uh, but actually only back then photoshop users could do that it was done using it's called screen mask invert eh? and you could use this simple technique to enhance your images so here in front of my screen we have our data and we could use simply the star net here to remove our stars from our image now by using a mask you could try using the mmt to remove the stars from the image but i think i will use the star net when that is already in the market here so i'll use this instead so it might take a little bit time to finish and meantime i would say that you whatever software you guys are using just try to make complete use of that and try to revis revisit your image every time i mean if you process an image for one time just don't think this is the final processing of this data just try to revis revisit that a couple of more times and you would see the difference and when you'll do that you'll understand what i'm trying to say you'll get a very different result every time so the, this image is actually my third or fourth time processing this and every time i process i get better so they actually it takes a lot of time to maintain that that keep on getting better better and just and there's also a point of time when the results will be exactly the same as because you can't we can we cannot actually create additional details in the image or unless maybe you are using the paint brush tool to add details like some of the people so I'm not going into that stuff so um, let my star net finish the job with 
this and after that I'll use a simple pixel math expression to enhance the starless image and then blend that back into the original M45 image that will be like uh, I think a few minutes worth job and in the Photoshop you can perform that same step in actually I think one or two steps I mean just and there is also a bit longer method in Photoshop but it, it, it isn't that long I mean it takes only three or four step probably so I'll show both the methods how you could perform this so I'm just pausing the video for now so guys I'm back here and Starnet has done the job and you could see how much details are hidden this is why I always recommend just making your images starless and it's a very important step in the image processing it actually helps in highlighting more structure of the background region so now I'll just try to make a copy of this image and simply just go back and undo the star net on my final image and you could see how much difference we've made here and with how much the stars are actually hiding in this image and you could see here so now you could see we have the starless image and now I'll just go to process and go to pixel math and then I write the expression for the exponential transformation it is very similar to that but it is done in a very controllable way so I'll start writing by 1 minus bracket 1 minus dollar t dollar t is the original image here and again multiply it by 1 minus dollar t so this will help in enhancing or you could see br brightening up the regions here so i'll just click on the rescale results here and just drag the new instance and you can see our image here is highlighted now and you could see the difference you could do that simply by either boosting the histogram or you could use this more controllable pixel math expression so now I'll try to apply a little bit of noise reduction to our image so for that I'll be using this DGV denoise CIEL chrominance mode and I'll just try to use the defaults by lowering the strength a bit do not want l loads of noise reduction to be done as makes our image too soft and I've done that mix mistakes multiple times so guys a good image is I mean it should be balanced in every way I mean the stars should not be completely gone I mean there are very few stars that is actually not a very good sign in a good image or you could say it's like the highlights are blown up and maybe the stars are not properly deconvoluted uh, deconvolution is a tricky process I mean you need to try to master it it won't be achieved like that but you have to try a lot of times to get the, the, the desired results I mean so this whole image processing is all about dedicating yourself do this and I didn't and unless you try it several times I think you won't get that result you are looking for so now our noise reduction is done and I didn't want a lot of noise reduction to be applied in our image so now here is our image here I will just rename this as B and this is our image here which we will be blending now the expression remains the same except here I'll just change this this to 1 minus V and multiply by F then bracket plus dollar T and multiplied by F 
again and then I use the F is equal to 0 0.5 bracket this will be the amount we will be adding in this image here so I'll just simply drag the new instance and replace the target image okay I think I probably forgot to add the symbol here so I'll just add the symbol here and just drag the new instance and you could see the change I mean no stars were harmed during this process you could see the change were the stars harmed not at all you could say not at all so you could see how much the image has been boosted here just look at these details and if you do a slight bit of star reduction in your image you could get some really nice depth in these area only do the selective star reduction what I mean by selective star reduction is you do not want these regions to be star reduced or probably these regions you only want I mean these are the darker regions so I would say a little bit of star reduction here bit of here and here might create that 3d look that you are looking for so I mean here also could be applied so you could see I'll just now I'll just go to process here and histogram transformation and just try to set my black points I could also try a bit more boosting here by point two maybe just a little bit and you can see we achieved what we wanted in such a simple step here so it's not a big deal to enhance in the regions like people show and could just simply get this result by this simple enhancing and you could see that our nebulosity is not even harmed here I mean just look at this region here are not even touched here and we also have that three-dimensional look in our image you could see here just these are the surrounding regions so with this simple expression we could get so much out of this this is why I'm saying that pixel site is absolutely necessary for you guys it's really really important tool if you want to make your images better but yeah if you want to use photoshop the job can be done but the most important thing in pixel side that i always do is the dynamic background extractor it helps a lot lot and lot to extract the details of your image i mean just look at this no flats in the image now consider this image as shot from the light blue light blue to data and it had a gradients here and you could with the help of db or you could say the gradient exterminator by RC Astro Russell Croman. You could use that too, but I think the dynamic background extractor is a million times better compared to that. So you could get that result in a few simple steps here without harming touching your stars. And if you want to make your stars better, you could also apply deconvolution by making the correct dynamic PSF and by applying other adjustments that are required in your image so I'll just keep this image here and might just you could just see the image is highlighted nicely and I'll just go to Photoshop here and open this up now I think we do, we do not really need to make a starless image but I will show you with the starless one too I'll show you the change in your image 
so first i'll try to use the normal filter here for those i mean there are a lot of people who do not have access to the star exterminator or the starnet i mean there are other ways too by doing it however you can download the starnet and run it without using the pixin site just check out the free tutorials in the youtube you could just easily uh, access that i mean no issue at all so for using this you could do that by simply just making a copy of this image here you could just make a copy of this image or i would just try to make a background copy and then i'll just go to this and then click on alt here and then i'll go to filter noise distance scratchers and just apply this round think for I think this much seems fine and you could see that majority of the stars are removed here then I'll copy the image here and just click alt and then click on this image and just click here and then use control plus I now i'll change the mode blending mode to screen and you could see the image is highlighted here and now i'll just go to levels and try to set my black points here you could see that we have managed to get some good results i mean you, the stars were harmed not at all you could get can get i mean very very similar results compared to pixinsight process but yeah there will be a change for sure for example in the depth of this image so maybe you could try the curves a little bit so and for those who want some more depth in their image you could use some star reduction in your image here so now I'll just show you a even more simpler method for example using so we have here already applied this and then you could just simply go to image apply image and just se select the source m45 copy and just click on screen blending mode screen mask and then invert as you can see our image here is now inverted and you can see the change to our image this method is actually slightly better i think i'm also forgetting something in that previous method that i used to do i actually use this method only very simple it is extremely extremely simple just just couple of clicks and you're done and we didn't even need to do that star removal using that star net and you could see how we highlight this image now once again i would use the same image again and just go to apply mask and invert and you could see more details are coming out and maybe i could lower the opacity a bit around 50 percent and just click on just make sure you are selecting the copy that you have created this here you can just press ok set the levels up here and you could get that depth easily just try to reduce your stars maybe just use this you could use morphological transformation picks inside or just use the action sets that come or maybe just use the minimum filter by selecting all the stars you could just get that same amount of stuff that you are willing to see but here 
as the stuff in this is you won't get that amount of good stuff here i mean you could see there are still some blotches here using that star reduction method here and with the addition of that dust and scratch scratches filter it has introduced a bloated or you could see a bloated type nebula and you could see here that how our nebula is not harmed here you can see so if i had applied that noise excessive noise reduction the result would have been nearly the same like we have got in photoshop you could see so much details here so you could just simply see so i have already made a video for my subscribers on how i completely processed this whole region here i think i have probably made a video of this too so i'll try to maybe show that i think this was not the result i think this was probably this was i think the result and you could see so much details here in my image here and i have reduced some good amount of stars in my image here you could see and if you follow this method either in photoshop or pixinsight you could get that same amount of depth but in photoshop you need to slightly compensate but it will do the job i mean for 100 percent i could say if you have captured those details i mean under some good condition even under bottle four or three skies you can get that stuff out i mean just try to apply it slowly and maybe you could get that detail out easily so guys if you like the video please do subscribe and just share this to anyone who needs to understand and is a complete beginner and for those who want to subscribe you could just visit my website and send me an email about subscribing this image processing tutorials it covers on nearly everything on post processing you could see just visit my website or just dm me on my instagram mr deep sky and you could just ask me about anything i mean it's not necessary that you need to purchase my classes so i'm always i always try to help you guys you guys are my friends and i hope you like this video so guys i'm ending this here if you have any question critiques or anything just shoot it down so thanks guys clear skies